Jalen Waddle from his end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Start with a run by Mitchell. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Now this throw caught left side. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 34. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Vic, option right. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That's Demario Davis navigating his way into the backfield for a tackle for loss. Now a second down throw for Vic. This one complete to Jalen Waddle. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons 23. A good pick up there at 20 yards. Vic goes play action. His throw incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Vic with the incompletion on first down, and now that leads to second and ten. Here's Michael Vic. Toward the sideline, intercepted. Rasul Douglas picks it, and the Falcons are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. They run with a dangerous Saquon Barkley. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Now Burrow loses the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. You can't admire his willingness to sacrifice his body to try and pick up the first down, and I do. But let's face it, you know his coaches are going to warn him about diving or extending for a marker for this exact reason. So much easier to have the ball knocked free when you're extended like that. So if you're going to die, you got to make sure you secure the football, which he didn't. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Another run with Mitchell. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. The start of this game has me doing flashbacks and remembering when I was playing and seeing a similar start and seeing the head coach actually take a timeout and gather the whole team around him and tell him everybody to get it together. Let's get some focus going here, because maybe he just sensed that maybe this the whole team wasn't ready to play. Yeah, well, they've gone interception, now fumble. Ten yards there and a first down for the Falcons. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Meanwhile, Burroughs throw into the hands of Pickens. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports.
Second quarter now, Falcon football. As they've got it with a first and ten. the play fake here's Burrow flushed out right and Burrow gonna slide to the ground as he does pick up the first down another strong gain on the last two plays they moved to the combined 33 yards from Viking territory now they'll come up first and 10 at the 48 yard line Barkley inside handoff and they'll get this just to the 47 one yard gain well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. Here we go, here we go. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Falcons. B. John Robinson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Falcons have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, that's a good-looking rookie right there. I love how he let the play set up and then showed that explosiveness that I saw on tape in college. Remember I showed you the clip of what he was doing and setting up blocks and then he would just go? We saw it on that play right there. That one was fun to watch. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Waddle will return this from the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. A big play there for Minnesota. 56 yards. And normally when you think about huge field flipping plays like this, it's that shifty slot receiver, that burner on the outside. Not here. That's a tight end doing work down the field. Where's the oxygen mask? He's going to need it after that one. A big, big play. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. A give running right is Mitchell. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. On first down, they go back to Mitchell. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Early down steps to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. On second down, here's Mitchell. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Third down at 13. Panther 11, Panther 11. Here's Vic. Right side, there's Likely with it. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. On, so they're going to come to the line here, and it appears trying to go for it on fourth. Throwing, Vic. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Vikings' decision to go for it pays off with six points. And, oh, it's wide right. No good.
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior. Big on big, right? Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Snatched by the safety, Ed Reed. And they will be set up now as he brings this thing all the way back inside the 20. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. Second and seven. Vic now. Over the middle, it's complete. Touchdown, Vikings! Isaiah Likely, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Vikings have come back to make it a two-point game. They'll try and throw for it. And he'll get into the end zone, and those two points are going to tie the game. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get it intercepted, it's returned by the defense, that's two points for them. But he identified an open target and put it right on him. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Jack Campbell with a pick, and a return across midfield into the 46-yard line. You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it a little bit right before the half, hoping to get one more score. Yeah, easy to second-guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head coach just says, look, that's on me. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys. So here's Vic following the interception. A short one there, caught by Likely. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Second down, Vic. And his throw is incomplete. A pretty rocky start in this game for the guy throwing the ball. Already has thrown one interception. Almost threw a second one right there. All he's doing right now is giving the defense a whole lot of confidence. Third and short yardage, Vic. And that will be incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Field goal would have been a decent length at 55 yards. They keep the kicking unit on the sideline. They're going for it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. On first and 10, here's Vic. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. 19 tight, 19 tight. To throw, Vic. That's complete to Sharp. And that's going to be good for another first down. 
battles the tackles made at the Falcons 16. A gain there of 21 yards. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now here's Vic. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Vic with the incompletion on first down, and now that leads to second and ten. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Michael Vick, his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Vikings have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So they're able to break the tie just before halftime. Now they just don't want anything crazy to happen on the ensuing kickoff. Yeah, they want to just add the extra point, get the kickoff taken care of, and get to the locker room with the lead that they fought so hard to get. That's caught. And they're going to get the two-point conversion. This one's caught. And it stretches their lead up to eight. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. And solid field position here to start as they get this out to the 40-yard line. Now that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. One second, all that remains. And now Burrow going to be intercepted yet again. Picked off by Ty Law. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter there with the onside kick, what would you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel that they've got to go ahead and make something happen. Steal a possession, try and steal some points. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. 11 mighty. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. Pickens on the slant. And he's going to get this inside the 30. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Now it's Burrow. Going for Kyle Pitts again. He's got him again. Touchdown, Falcons! Kyle Pitts, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Falcons take the interception on defense and convert it into six points. So they get their tight end away from the line to the outside, and he works his way in for six. Tight ends are not just blockers anymore. I don't know how many more times we need examples, but here's a great one. Gets to the outside. They give him the ball pretty quickly, and they trust him to get those extra yards. And boy, did he come through, bullying his way into the end zone after the nice catch. They're going to run it with Barkley. And he's not going to get there. So they come up empty on the two-point conversion, and they are unable to tie up this football game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Waddle going to bring this out of the end zone now. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Go 
Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. But the last drive for this offense, Charles, you remember it ended in one play, that quick interception, but they do still have the lead as they start this drive here. And that's something to focus on for them as well because it's not quite no harm, no foul. But the interception, hey, shake it off, move on. Hasn't cost your team the lead, and now it's time to rebound. And the quarterback and his teammates, they can add to the lead with a good drive here. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. That was Will Anderson getting home and finishing the play. Well, remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that could spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? Yeah, he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. First down. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Vic readies to throw. That's going to be caught by Waddle. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Back to the ground here, Mitchell. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Off the play fake, Vic. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Reek Willen. And the Falcons are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. So this offense moving the ball well, trying to open up a two-score lead here in the third quarter. But now, potentially, a play that could have big ramifications. Yeah, you've driven the ball down the field. Things are looking up, but it takes just one bad decision to throw things off the rails. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, that one's all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Now a throw here, hold in. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Here we go, here we go. 34 now, here's first and ten. It's Barkley on the counter. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was, because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stuffed that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Three quarters in the books. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's been a good one so far, just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Brandon Burch, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third-down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. That's about as exciting of a one-yard run as you're going to see. Finding a way to dodge that first would-be tackler, but again, just one yard out of it. 
Ball on the 47 yard line. Here's a second and nine. 11 MT, 11 MT. 11 Thomas, 11, 11. God. Robinson with another carry. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Here we go. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, Burrow. Escaping the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end. This is going to be able to pick up decent yardage. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape, but can't go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still a long way away from kneel down time. So they've got to work on getting first downs, keep the sticks moving, right? Keep the clock going, and above all, ball secure. Don't turn it over. And this is going to be back-to-back -back tackles for a loss here as the Falcons' defense yet again drops him behind the line. But not a lot of success to be found there. Well, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Able to convert on third and 14, a terrific play call. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They run over center with Mitchell. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Vic to throw it. On target to his man, likely. Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. Up the middle, here's Mitchell. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. Well, every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that one. Well, he is marked down right about on top of that imaginary yellow line, but they say he's a bit short. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here's Vic. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And that will force a turnover on downs. Here's first and ten. to throw Burrow. That's caught by Pitts. And they work this out past the 25. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and 10 now. Here's Burrow. Finding Kelsey. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion they would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, 
stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. The ball is thrown into the hands of Pitts here. And that will get him another first down, but the clock certainly working against him. Now Burrow. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You get into these two-minute drill situations and you often got tired legs on the offensive line. But these defenders, they've been rotating in and out. And they're a little bit fresher and quicker. And the pressure there forced the incompletion. Throwing, Burrow, got an open man, it's Pickens. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. A final shot now for Burrow. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35 yard line. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And his kick is good! From 52 yards away, he gets it to go! And the Falcons are going to win the game! Well, that second half, Charles, a little bit different from the first. Not only did we have the lead change after intermission, but they were able to pitch the shutout in the second half and get an impressive victory. And what's the old expression? That's not quite how I saw 